Hello everyone, I'm Sam from HMS Core. The topic today is searching for growth opportunities throughout the user lifecycle. It allows you to quickly obtain required capabilities by integrating SDKs into your apps to complete app development, facilitate user growth, and achieve more effective monetization. Today, I'll be addressing Huawei Analytics Kit, one of the core HMS capabilities. Huawei Analytics Kit provides a one-stop data collection and analysis platform. By integrating Analytics Kit, you'll be able to understand user behavior with greater precision, thanks to the myriad of analysis models provided, such as the funnel, retention, and conversion models. This helps you gain insights into how your users behave and equips you to make informed decisions for optimizing your apps and marketing strategies, as well as pursue targeted operations. Now, let's take a closer look at how exactly Huawei Analytics Kit helps apps search for new growth opportunities across the user lifecycle. A lot of apps these days are struggling to grow their user base. In particular, lifestyle, e-commerce, gaming, video and audio, and reading apps. Some of the main reasons are demographic challenges and decreased growth in the industry. Some apps, in fact, even have negative user growth. Traffic is also getting more and more expensive, and the cost of acquiring new users continues to increase. Competition in many app categories is fiercer than ever, while channels for user acquisition remain patchy and the retention rate for new users has dropped. Given these challenges, converting new users and winning back lost users is even more important than ever, and essential for boosting revenue. Lower user acquisition and retention rates have been long-standing challenges for app operators. So how do app operators resolve these pressing issues? Big data helps analyze user behavior and display the results in an instant, giving you a thorough understanding of user needs at a glance. So one obvious solution is to leverage data to search for growth opportunities across the entire user lifecycle and implement targeted operations. For beginner users, Growth plans should be made with the goal of maximizing return on investment and user interaction to ensure that you can quickly acquire the users you want and then convert them into growing users. For growing and mature users, the key areas of focus are improving retention and conversion rates. It is very important to maximize the value of these users and make them more active and loyal to your apps. For inactive and lost users, it's crucial to prevent user churn try to win back lost users, analyze the causes of churn, and optimize user activation promotional plans. After these objectives are determined, you'll need to implement targeted data analysis. Huawei Analytics Kit provides various analysis models to help you perform in-depth analysis on apps and users. Once the analysis is complete, the filter and console in Huawei Analytics Kit can be used to select target user groups. Then, implement operations such as reaching users through push messages. This results in users feeling pleasantly surprised and excited, rather than pestered. Naturally, you'll need to go back to the console to compare the data before and after the operations to determine whether you achieved your goal and change the operations or optimize your apps accordingly. For beginner users, you'll want to reduce the user acquisition costs and promote user activation and growth. Huawei Analytics Kit can help you do so by offering diverse analysis capabilities, such as event analysis and comparison analysis, which allow you to view event trends and the distribution of event generating device models and operating systems. Then, you can use a filter to perform comparison tests of different types of events and select the optimal channel to place services. You can also guide beginner users to complete key operations according to their interests. For example, if you have a video app, you could guide users to watch videos or purchase membership. Or for a game app, you could help users pass levels quickly. For an e-commerce app, you could enable users to place their first order within a short period of time. Then, perform funnel analysis and attribution analysis to analyze the conversion rates of users according to their behavior at key nodes. And you'll be able to optimize the processes, provisioning modes, and UI designs for individual nodes. 
These analysis models enable your apps to promote activation and growth for beginner users. In this case, the app delivered ads to acquire new users in various ways. However, the contribution rate from each channel could not be accurately calculated, and the user churn rate was high. The goal of the optimization was to select better channels through which to place services to boost the retention rate for new users. By using the attribution analysis model of Huawei Analytics Kit, the app's operations personnel define the target conversion event as new download and use, and the to be attributed event as add clicks on each channels. According to the generated report, Vigo Video had the highest contribution rate, whereas Weibo had the lowest. So they shifted their marketing budget from Weibo to Vigo Video. Within three months of optimization, user acquisition costs had decreased by 26%, and the new user retention rate had increased by 15%. For growing and mature users, it's important to focus on the user conversion rate, as well as retaining and activating users. Retaining and converting users is a challenge that most apps face. For retention, you can use the filter to analyze users by segment and to find out the differences in channels, phones of different types and brands, and new and existing users. After that, perform audience analysis to segment users so that they're matched with the right services, as indicated by the analysis, to boost user loyalty and retention. For conversion, it's recommended that you perform path analysis to detect the actual behavior paths of users when they're using the app. Then check whether these paths differ from the design paths. If not, you can guide users to design paths through operations. Since every user action can be recorded, you can familiarize yourself with behavioral tendencies and characteristics of users, obtain the click trends, and plan so that users behave accordingly in the design paths, reach the core modules of apps, and complete the conversion. For example, the design path for e-commerce apps is browse, add to my favorites, add to cart, submit the order, make payment. Funnel analysis can also be performed to give you a good understanding of the conversion rate and churn rate of each phase, which facilitates app optimization. The app's operations personnel found that the user retention rate and purchase conversion rate over the previous two months had decreased. They were able to resolve the issue by first segmenting users based on user attributes, such as their gender, age, region, and phone brand, and user behavior, such as browsing products, adding to cart, and purchasing, and then determining different behavior characteristics through path analysis and funnel analysis models according to the user segments. They discovered that the order button was not prominent enough and proposed some optimizations to address this. First, they enhanced the interactive design on the order page to highlight the order button. Second, they selected users who did not make payments but stayed on the page for a lengthy period of time due to the button design. Lastly, they distributed coupons to users through the push messages. The result of all of this was a dramatically improved purchase conversion rate. Inactive and lost users are the last user types that operations personnel address. For inactive users, the key is to prevent user churn and select the right inactive users for reactivation, which is done quickly and efficiently through data analysis. You can use the user lifecycle analysis model in Huawei Analytics Kit to formulate operations policies in advance to avoid user churn based on the predicted user groups that have churn risks or win back potential in each phase. In addition, behavior and funnel analysis can help to detect users whether they have the value and possibility to be woken up, as well as to send messages to reactivate them. It is more difficult to win back lost users than to acquire new users. Therefore, it is highly recommended that you focus more on summarizing experiences and optimizations so as to avoid churn from active users. With Huawei Analytics Kit, you'll be able to determine the characteristics of lost users, enhance the detection capability before the churn, use data from lost users to help optimize promotions for current users, and increase the activation and loyalty of active users to avoid user churn by improving operations policies. Now let's look at a successful game app operations that helped reactivate inactive users. 
The game app's operations personnel first selected the inactive users who are worthy of and likely to be reactivated by performing event and behavior analysis. It was determined that users who were younger than 30 and had made at least 30 friends in the game and two interactions on a monthly basis showed the most potential. The operations personnel then designed targeted plans for reactivating inactive users. They found out the installation channels of inactive users and added new content there to attract users. They also pushed updated content to users who had not updated the game to the latest version for quite some time. The user lifecycle analysis model provided the predicted user groups that demonstrated churn risks. Therefore, they were able to implement activation plans in advance and avoided user churn by improving the user experience and distributing benefits to users by email. After this, a detailed analysis of the behavioral attributes of the churned users was carried out. It turned out that such users had less than five in-game friends and were most likely to have complained about the game freezing. The operations personnel then tested and determined the causes of user churn and optimized the app and operations accordingly. Such in-app improvements included providing a multi-channel account sign-in feature and a one-touch friend adding feature. They found that the latter worked more on users when conducting a comparison test. So the final optimizations were to enable users to add friends and to improve the interactive logic in the next game version. After optimization, the app successfully decreased the inactive user rate by 12% and the user churn rate by nearly 8%. Now let's review how the Huawei Analytics Kit can help you increase your user base across the entire lifecycle. Once you integrate the HMS Core Analytics SDK, you can upload user attributes and behavioral data. Huawei Analytics Kit supports the automatic collection of 11 user attributes and 27 events, as well as customized user attributes and 500 customized events, making optimizations easier than ever, and providing a plethora of enriching data for targeted operations. Furthermore, it provides abundant analysis models based on the atomic data, such as events, behavior, funnels, audience, lifecycle, and attribution, helping you get familiar with user growth and user behavior trends, as well as product functions. The filter utilizes these models to perform segmentation analysis by app type, user attribute, and audience. You can complete the integration and release your apps with just a few hours of work. That's all for today. Thanks for listening.